Hey guys, so one of the things that I heard time and time again regarding Dragon Ball Z Kakarot is the option to transform into any form that you want in free roam. By default, this is something that you cannot do in the game. That is until today. What you can see here is the result of a glitch which is really simple to do and you can use this on any transformation that you want. I have personally done this for Super Saiyan 1, 2 and 3 but it should work on Kaioken and Gohan's potential unleashed form and every other transformation that exists in the game. Ok so here's how you do it. First of all you need to form a party. It is not necessary but it is going to make things a whole lot easier for us. So make a party of any characters that you want. It doesn't have to be Goku and Vegeta. You can pick any you want and then in free room start a fight with a random group of enemies. Again it doesn't matter what kind of enemies, it could be anyone. You just need to enter a fight. Once you do, beat them up real quick and leave just one enemy in front of you. At this point, when only one enemy remains, what I need you to do is step back and transform into the form that you wanna use in free roam. Here in this example, I'm going to use Super Saiyan 2. Now at this point, your goal is to transform into a different form at the exact moment the final enemy of the battle is defeated. So this is why having party members helps because you can simply step back and wait for the right moment. So let your party members defeat the enemy and right before he is defeated, transform into a different form. In this video, I transformed into Super Saiyan 3 for a very quick second. When you do this, the game will simply revert you to your original transformation, which in my case was Super Saiyan 2. And as you can see, now I can free roam in my Super Saiyan 2 form. If you want to do this with Super Saiyan 3, simply transform into Super Saiyan 3 form and then right before the battle ends, transform into Super Saiyan 1 or Super Saiyan 2. It really is that simple. Now there might be different ways of doing this, but the idea is to transform at the right time just before the battle ends and that's about it. Now after you do this, you are going to be stuck in this transformation and the only way to change back to normal is to either fast travel using the world map or you can simply save your game and then reload it. Your transformation is not going to be saved in your save file so when you reload your game you will go back to normal. And there you have it. I wanna say a quick thanks to Average Paul on Twitter who messaged me about this glitch. When he messaged me, I gave it a shot and it didn't work for me at first. It took me about 3 or 4 tries to get the timing right. So if it doesn't work for you right away as well, don't be discouraged. Just give it another shot and try to get the timing right. Also, I'm playing the game on PC but it should work on consoles too. Now one last thing before I leave you is I finished the game today myself and in the coming days I'm going to have a review for the game out. So if you are interested in more content related to the game, subscribe or follow me on social media and I will see you next time.